right. Thank you so much. Wow, fantastic. How are you? All right. How are y'all? Everybody okay? We're all cool. I'm a of cool. It's great to be here tonight. Um, it's great to be in Los Angeles. Even though I'm not from here, I'm from Houston, Texas. I, uh, and I live here in Los Angeles. I live in a dangerous part of Los Angeles called Los Angeles. Uh, I live in a place called Da Hood, D-A Hood, Da Hood. Population, all them bitches. Can I get a woo woo holla murder up? I live with Mexicans. We got any Mexicans in here? Oh, yeah. Woo! Damn, it's a cello. What was that, a Ho Carlo? God damn. <laughs> Love Mexicans, man. Y'all are the coolest, because if you ever get a Mexican dude's name, you can always just read their necklace, and that's just convenient, isn't it? What's your... Nomar, what kind of fucked up name is... Ramon, come on, Stas! You cut your hair, fool! Crazy. I love Mexicans, man, because y'all can fix anything with like two chiclets and a pocket knife. Seriously. My car broke down on the side of the road, and uh, this Mexican dude wrote that to me, and he's like, hey, what's wrong with your car? <laughs> and I go, well, I'll tell you, Hector. Uh, <laughs> the son bitch won't start. He, hey, pop the hood. Well, pop the hood. He's looking in there, eating three chickens, because apparently it was a tough repair. He's like, okay, try it now. Mm, holy shit, Hector! You rock! Fuck yeah, get in the car. I'll buy all your oranges, cherries, um, newspapers. Put them all in there, bro. Fuck yeah. He's the coolest, that guy. I got his flowers. That guy's great. Hector, right there, he's great. I like the hood, it's just different, you know? Stuff happens that doesn't happen anywhere else, okay? Uh, it really doesn't, okay? This is, a, this is a strange event that only happens in the hood. Um, it, was, uh, it was about two years ago. I got a knock on the door at like four o'clock in the afternoon, all right? And me and my girlfriend are there, right? And, uh, and yeah, that, that's not part of the joke. Okay, all right, anyway. <laughs> I open the door and, and at the door is a black dude and a white chick, right? And the brother's like, yo, man, my name's Alvin, or Alvin, Alvin, or Alvin, right? And he, and I'm like, hello, what the fuck, right? Okay, he goes, yo, player, we just wanna know if you wanna party. I was like, huh, what are you talking about? Yo, man, you wanna party? What the fuck? Yo, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, just knock on the door, and hey, you wanna party? What the hell, right? And, I, and I'm like, huh? And he looks down the hall, both ways, and goes, all right, player, you want some pussy? It was a pimp and a hooker going door to door selling pussy. That's the only thing that happens there, okay? All right, now I, okay, first of all, I cannot believe this is happening to a comedian, right? I'm like, right? It's God, it's sent from God, okay, it's fantastic. But then I started thinking, hey, that's a criminal. He's a criminal, he's a pimp. You know, it's his job to slap bitches and cut people for money. That's his fucking job. He's a crit danger. Okay, so I get, I'm like, oh, wow, hey. Ooh. Hey. Uh, he thought I was trying to stall him, right, to, to like, to drive a bargain. So he's like, yo, play, okay, man, look, normally a half and half is $100, all right, money? But I see you got a little hesitant. You don't want to spend all that. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, for you this week, we run a special. $70 for a half and half. What do you say, player? Come on, half and half. $70, goddamn. Now he's selling discount pussy door to door. Like it's day old. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, now what he can't see is my girlfriend is like 10 feet away. Okay, now girls, you really wouldn't like your man to be offered pussy at the front door, would you? That wouldn't be like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Look at him, he's getting pussy at the front door. That's my man. Look at you. So I have danger here, and I damn sure got danger there, okay? So I did the only thing a man could do in that situation. Be stupid, player. That's all you can do. Be stupid, okay? I was like, um, <laughs> uh, honey, do we need some pussy? <laughs> Thank you. 
It, it's on sale. Not. There's a lot of stuff that's different there that you don't get anywhere else, okay? Um, <laughs> that's one of them, okay? Uh, but just the little things are different. Like, we don't have a Jack in the Box restaurant, y'all. We got a Jizak up in the Biox. That's what we got. <laughs> and you gotta order like you're from the hood, or the drive through guy will shoot you out of respect. It's like, yo, what a player, yo, money, can you get me a jumbo Jizak? And he's testing me, right? He goes up with cheese. Like a motherfucker, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and I want to send a shout out to the fry guy. I got much love with the fry guy. Bum, 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 prize. Bum, 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 bum. I want a cold drink, bow down, the cold drink, bow down. And I need me a chicken sandwich for my baby's mama. He was like, word. <laughs> Yo, son, you're the shizzle man. Is repeat that back to you, grip suit in mitten You know what I'm saying, player? You want to jump out your dad with cheese like a motherfucker? I want to send a shout out to the fry guy. I got much love with the fry guy. Bumper in the fry. Holla, holla, can I get a whoop? Scott LaRock. You want a cold drink, bat on the cold drink, bat down. And you need a chicken sandwich for your baby's mama because you're a hustler, baby. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the black folks in here going, whoo, white boys got flavor. <laughs> what happened? I do have flavor because I'm from the South. A lot of white folks from the South got flavor. They just suppress it sometimes with country music. <laughs> we do have flavor from the South, you know? And I am from the South, y'all. I was born in Tennessee, raised in Arkansas, and moved to Texas when I was 18. I'm Southern, I'm my own cousin, okay? Uh, I'm Southern. But I like a lot of like white folks from the South who won't admit it, I'll tell you the truth. I got some black blood in me. What the? Yeah. I wish I got that big dick, that'd have been cool. Yeah. That's how it goes. I didn't get a big dick. I got, you know, I got bad credit. Ain't that a bitch? That's how it goes, player. It's either big dick or bad credit every time. That and a couple sickle cells, but all I got. I didn't get the magic stick, folks. I can hit it once, I can't hit it twice. <laughs> it allows me, though, to tell the truth, you know what I mean? It allows me to tell the truth, you know, because I live with Mexicans and I got black blood in me, so, hey, it's just a couple of drops, but it's there, ta -da. It's so good little bit. It allows me to tell the truth, you know? And uh, not everybody likes the truth, you know what I mean? But most comments give you what you want. Daddy gives you what you need. <laughs> it's good for you. Like, here's some truth for us. Uh, white people, we constantly fuck on minorities in this country, don't we? Man, it got quiet fast, though, didn't it? <laughs> white people are here like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Hello, they're right over there. They will kill us. <laughs> Look, fat guy, I didn't drive all the way from Beverly Hills for this shit, okay? <laughs> Jesus. It's crazy. We do fuck with minorities. You can't say we don't because we do. Uh, Black Heritage Month. Anybody know what month that is? February, yeah. The shortest month. Right. <laughs> The shortest fucking month. We fucked them out of three days. <laughs> but it's also one of the coldest months. You can't get black people marching when it's 20 below. <laughs> Fubu don't make a parka. There ain't no Sean John ski suit. <laughs> Got them pit bulls be running around getting frostbit. Are you out of your fucking mind? But, you know, at least, you know, y'all got a month, you know? Latinos, y'all get one day each for all y'all. And there's a shitload of you. There really is. There's a gang of... Like, Mexicans, y'all get single in the mile, right? Right. Uh, Puerto Ricans, we got any Puerto Ricans here? I, I didn't think so. I didn't see nobody's flag. Okay, all right. <laughs> now, y'all know Puerto Ricans always have flags. It's either on their neck or on the Toyota Corolla. You pick. All right. 
And they're proud. They're like, Puerto Rico's my country. It's my country. Stupid ass. It's U.S. territory. Right? You know, that's what I said. Oklahoma's my country, dummy. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Puerto Ricans got the Puerto Rican Day Parade in New York, you know, where they rape a girl in the park. Hey, look, folks, that's their culture. That's how they choose to celebrate. We can't judge. Dominicans got the opening day at baseball. <laughs> Cubans, Cubans didn't even get a day. Ain't that a bitch to not even get a day? They just gave them Miami and said, fuck it. <laughs> like, hell, they keep on washing up, give it to them, shit. <laughs> Did y'all see this recently? A, a, a guy in Cuba made a truck into a boat. It was in the news, a truck into a boat. Am I the only one thinking that maybe the Discovery Channel has made its way to Cuba? <laughs> right, because that's got Monster Garage written all over that, doesn't it? Seriously. <laughs> but some Cubans don't even use a boat, do they? They just take off swimming. They're like, fuck it, I'm out of here. <laughs> and they swim for like two or three weeks, and that's a long way to swim when you're trying to keep a cigar lit. That ain't easy, you know? <laughs> Two or three weeks in the ocean, swimming. And yet in this country, we still got the nerve to call Mexicans wetbacks. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? Most Mexicans, y'all didn't cross the border, the border crossed you. But if you did have to cross that border, that water ain't beneath high. That ain't gonna get you back wet. Unless you trip or fall. They should call y'all like uh, wet shins or shin backs. La raza, Simon. Poor Mexicans, though. Y'all get one day of recognition for what you've done for this country. The fifth largest economy in the world is California, and it all used to be Mexico. And we give you one day of recognition. Fuck that. <laughs> Next year, because I'm down with the brown like a motherfucker, I'm going to hang out at Home Depot the whole day. <laughs> Drive around with no insurance. <laughs> get me some dirty kids and go to Kmart. Fuck it. <laughs> La raza! Ralphie. <laughs> but the most messed up thing we do to minorities actually happened back in January. Anybody go to the mall when they were holding the white sale <laughs> on Martin Luther King Day? <laughs> and buy yourself some sheets? <laughs> That's fucked up, ain't it? We got the nerve in this country to hold a white cell on Martin Luther King Day, and all you can do is sell some fucking sheets? 